All right, let's go ahead and do the uh, derivative of secant now. So this will probably be a little bit easier than tangent, actually. Um, so here, derivative uh, of secant of x equals secant of x times the tangent of x. So why is that true? Uh, well, first of all, let's remember that secant of x equals 1 over cosine of x, right? So, um, you know, this is a little bit simpler than sine of x over cosine x. So what we're going to do is uh, quotient rule again, and it'll be uh, a little easier. So uh, d dx of secant of x equals uh, d dx of 1 over cosine of x. All right, um, so then what we have is a uh, quotient rule. So here's our top, here's our bottom. So the quotient rule says the derivative of that's going to be bottom, which is cosine of x, times the derivative of the top. The top is 1. So the derivative, uh, 1 is just a constant, right? So its derivative is 0. And then we have minus uh, the top, which is 1, times the derivative of the bottom. And uh, the bottom is cosine, so its derivative is negative sine, negative sine of x, and then uh, over the bottom squared. And again, if you take cosine and you square it, that's just cosine squared of x. So uh, here, when we simplify this, let's zoom in just a little bit. Uh, cosine x times 0, this term is just uh, 0 here, so that's good. And then we have minus 1 times uh, negative sine of x, so what we end up with is uh, positive sine of x, actually, all over cosine squared of x. Uh, okay, so where do we go from here? Well, uh, we can rewrite this as uh, 1 over cosine x times sine of x over cosine x, all right? And uh, that actually just right away equals, this is secant of x, right? This is secant of x, and that's uh, tangent of x. This right here is tangent of x, right? So um, that's the proof uh, of the derivative formula for secant. Okay.